guys, welcome to the Selfie Crafter. My name is Jessica and today I have an unboxing for you guys. Um, so today's unboxing is uh, from Diamond Art Club, the actually the Amazon storefront one. Um, and it is called Bed of Roses by Marilyn Casanave. This one is a round diamond painting and it is um, 13 by 13 inches or 32 by 32.8 by 32.8 centimeters. So yeah, I'm going to just cut into this and get into it. So hopefully without um, any uh, any interruption. So let's just throw the plastic to the side. And here we go. I hope you guys are doing well today. Pull out the toolkit. Let everything else flop off. And there we go. Box to the side. So um, as you guys can see here, we have a warranty and insurance card so basically we can register the product within 30 days of purchase um and uh we just have to link the fact that um you of what you your order like your receipt and everything if i remember correctly um the next thing up we have here is a logbook sticker so um if you guys are, do not know what a logbook sticker is it is a sticker you can put on your logbook um and usually what that means is that you could like do things like put the start and end date of your project um, if, uh, basically all the details, like if how, how big the size is, how many colors, what your dots are, if you're doing an event, um, and etc. I don't typically use this for the, um, for the, uh, um, logbook. Actually, I used to have them on my box, uh, to, so that way I can figure out what, um, kit I'm grabbing. Um, but more recently I have started putting them onto the plastic covers once I'm done working on a, one working on a canvas. Excuse me. <clears throat> Next up we have here is our toolkit. If you look here in the back, it tells you the toolkit contents. So, uh, you can see everything right here. Let me just open this up and pull everything out. There we go. Alright, so first up we have here is our uh, diamond painting pen and we have a matching squishy to go with it. Uh, next up we have is um, some thin multi-placers. So we have a 7 and then a 4 multi-placer. Um, next up is we have some baggies. Uh, let's see, next we have here is a heart-shaped container and inside the heart-shaped container is two things of heart-shaped wax. Uh, make sure that before you start diamond painting, if you are new, you want to peel the plastic back before you put the pin into it. All right, let me just close that up. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Next up we have here is a cover minder. If you don't know what that is, I'll explain it in just a moment once I start working on the canvas here. Um, but as you can see here, it's a nice pink or peachy color rose. Um, and then what we have here is, oops, and I'm dropping stuff. We have some washi tape. It looks like we have a bunch of flowers and leaves on it. Again, if you don't know what this is used for, I will show you on the canvas in just a little bit. Um, and then the last but not least is we have our white plastic boat or tray, however you prefer to call it, with a stopper to help, of course, stop the drills from spilling out. Um, but yeah, let me put all of this back and we will start working um, well not working But start looking through the canvas right here. So Let me just grab all of this um, If this was a square canvas um, Usually it would come with some tweezers uh, as well. It usually comes with tweezers um, Although I do know that they're probably phasing that out. Don't quote me on that <laughs> Anyway, right here we have is a dust cover um, it is branded, so we have the Diamond Art Club Do What Makes You Sparkle right here. Um, and all you have to do is just peel this open and pull it out. So um, basically what a dust cover can do is protect it from the elements, from dust, etc. Um, anyway, we have our drills that I will put to the side. Uh, and then, is there anything else? Nope, okay. So first up right here we have is a thank you for your purchase. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, we have basically inside of it, it tells you what's included in your kit. Um, we have the tips and tricks. 
Um, and then we have step-by-step -step instructions. So we have a written guide. And also, if you guys want a video, they have a QR code for a step-by-step a step-by-step -step instruction guide uh, uh, on video as well. So there's a QR code. And then at the bottom, uh, you have a QR code for the Facebook group. So let me put that to the side. Um, next up we have here is our inventory sheet. As you guys can see, you can also use this as your logbook sticker because it has a start and end date. Um, I typically cut the sticker, um, basically the picture of this out and put it in my logbook. Um, but as you can see here, we have pre-cut stickers and it looks like we have 29 colors. And if you look closely, like I said, the stickers are pre-cut so it's easy just to peel them off and you can stick them on your baggies or storage containers, however you prefer to kit up. Um, it looks like we have one AB and then two fairy dust. I will get into more of those, what they are once I um, go through the drills right here. But um, yeah, we're gonna put this to the side over here as well. And then we're gonna go and start looking at this canvas. So I thought this would be a cute little um, snack size canvas to do uh, when I'm just the, when I'm just tired of working on uh, bigger canvases and everything. So, and I saw this on the Amazon storefront along with something else that I will be kidding, uh, not kidding up, but that I will be showing you in a later video. I, I could not resist and I had to get both, so. Um, so I just thought this would be just such a cute kit to, to work on, especially since I love kittens. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. So um, as you can see here, we have, the, um, we have the legend on both sides of the canvas. We have scallop edging. Um, at the bottom here, we have is the um, thumbnail of the picture along with the licensing details. And then in the middle, we have the social. And then at the um, bottom right here, we have the lifetime warranty. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, uh, I didn't mention this last time uh, when I opened a canvas from the Amazon storefront, but they most of them now have the perforated color, uh, perforated covers. Words are hard, guys. Um, and if you can see, hopefully, maybe, um, that means that you can just tear at it. So I just will tear a little bit. I won't go too far. So you can just tear it like that. Um, so that way, um, if you don't want to do something with the washi tape, which is what I'm going to show you, you don't have to. Um, you can just pull off sections off like this instead. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, since I have the washi tape in the cover minders out here, um, so with the cover minder, uh, as you can see, there's a magnet on the back and there's also a magnet attached to the cover minder itself. So what you want to do is put this one on the back of the canvas and then you're going to peel the plastic up. And one of the things also about the, this plastic film compared to their previous ones is it's a little bit thicker. And if I'm correct, if I remember correctly, um, you it's also you can use both sides of it but don't quote me on that. I don't want it to want to be wrong. <laughs> um, but I think I remember that correctly. But anyway, you pull the plastic back and then you put the cover minder on top. And as you can see, the plastic is um, staying put. So when you are diamond painting, um, you won't have the plastic falling back onto you. Um, so that way it stays out of the way. So let me just put that to the side. Now with the washi tape, um, with a lot of canvases, um, there's always just a teeny tiny bit of glue. And I, as you can see, there's just, just already a little bit of dirt that I somehow got onto it. Anyway, there's a little bit of tiny, tiny bit of glue that's on the edge of the canvas. Um, just to help prevent it to get dirty and muck, mucky, I like to put um, the washi tape on the edge just so that way whenever I'm diamond painting, my um, hand isn't getting into it, my clothes aren't getting into it. Um, but another thing I like to do on top of the plastic is that I like to put um, the washi tape into sections. I like to measure things out and I section things into smaller sections so that way for me it goes by quicker and it's easier to see my progress. Um, but like I said, with the new um, new perforated covers, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Me, on the other hand, I still like uh, measuring things out the way um, I want to measure it, so I still will be doing that. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're looking look into this uh, cute little kitty. I thought it was so cute. It's like in this um, flower basket thing, like a um, bucket 
or I forgot what, what they're called, but as you can see, there's some roses. The kitty is sleeping. We got a nice cute little bow right here. Um, there is so much color blocking in this. And what I mean by that is uh, when there's color blocking, if you look, there's just a huge, huge swatches of one color. So that way when you're multi-placing, which means putting more than one drill down at the same time, um, it'll um, go by quicker. Um, and you don't have to switch out the colors out as more often. Um, let's see if I can find uh, confetti. So things like confetti, and there's just a little bit here in the rows, is when you don't have as much spots to multi-place, um, and you're switching out the colors um, a little bit too, too often, you're going to have to constantly kind of switch after a few colors. Um, it's not too bad here. There are some other places. I, I think I remember one canvas I worked on that had like 20 different color changes. Like, and I was like, had, had to constantly change after every few colors. Um, but yeah. Um, anyway, we're going to go into the drills. So if you look here, they have their drills labeled with the words bed of roses that, uh, so that way, if you want to store your canvas separately from your drills, you can um, do so. Um, you'll be able to pull this out and find it uh, quickly. But um, yeah, we're going to open this up and it will never be the same. <laughs> it never is. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So first up we have here is a tiny bag of 3778. Then we have 225, 3777. Then we have our first AB, which is 127. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And uh, what that means is that you could, um, it means that it's just a bit more of a sparkler, sparklier, blah, blah, words. It just means that it has a bit of a coating on it that makes it more sparkly um, compared to other drills. Um, it has this rainbow effect on, on the drill itself. So like, um, especially like when you have like darker drills or some lighter drills, it looks almost like a little bit of a different color sometimes, but it just tends to bring out to a bit more of a sparkle effect to the uh, drills. Um, next up we have is 975. Then we have 3712, and the glare from uh, outside is not helping with the drill color, uh, so you can see what the numbers are. I am so sorry. But then we have uh, 581, 3861, uh, 987, 580, and then we have 898. Let's see, next up we have here is. 3860, then we have 890, uh, 988, 3826, th 356, uh, 968, 989, then we have our uh, first fairy dust, which is Z369. Um, so now a fairy dust compared to an AB, it has a coating on it as well, but instead of like the sparkle rainbow effect, it's more of a glimmer. So it has like um, this almost like a micro glitters, uh, I would I would say um, on the drills. So it's just more of a sparkle, like a light sparkle instead, it glimmers. I, that's pretty much the best way to explain it. Um, so um, it just helps with the uh, color. So it doesn't change the color of the drill too much. Um, and then we have our second fairy dust, which is C3856. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's going to look cool, too. Then we have 936, 3830, 355, 3076, 402, 452. We have two bags of 951, uh, two bags of 967, and then a bag of 3824. Since this is a small canvas and there's only three uh, special drills, I'm going to look real quickly here. So the AB here is um, just a simple one. So if I look uh, real fast, it looks like those ABs are in the bow here, like on the edges of the bow. Let's see, we have it on like the like the small whiskers of the kitten right here. Um, 
and I don't think I see any more of that. So the next thing was that green um, fairy dust, which is an equal sign that I can see here. So I can see immediately here where the fairy dust is, they're in these small lighter green stripes right here, and also a little bit on the edge of the um, basket as well. Um, and then the last fairy dust is this percentage sign right here, which is that um, orangey yellow color. And that's in the cat itself. So we got like, it's in different spots of the cat. So we have just like little highlighting areas. So that is going to look fantastic. So um, anyway, if you guys uh, like this, please let me know in the comments down below um, what you think. Um, and if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.